Here's America's pastime. It's going to be the Houston Astros as they take on the Baltimore Orioles at Oriole Park. Should be a great matchup right on deck. And out there, this vast crowd, almost 49,000. Baltimore Orioles eager to please with a home crowd on hand for this one. I'm Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Kruk as we get ready for MLB on 2K Sports. And our starting pitcher for Baltimore. Steve, what's he going to be conscious of now as he takes a look at these Houston hitters? Oh, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ballgame here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. We've got a moment to take a look at that lineup for the Astros. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, a lot of guys come in the big leagues with great swings and the ability to hit the baseball. Brett Wallace is one of those guys. A ton of potential. Just hasn't been consistent enough in his career to say we're going to make him an everyday player. Uh, at the plate. But he prepares to lead off this game. Second baseman, number 27, Jose Altuve. That one's hit to the right. Way down there, but that's going to be a long oh. foul ball. Here's the pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. And now we got a chance to take a quick look at how the Orioles will be setting up on defense. Any picks, John? Adam Jones, a converted infielder, hasn't lost a step. He made that transition to the outfield. Still learning the nuances of playing outfield on an everyday basis in the big league, but he is a gifted, gifted athlete. Big, strong, athletic, very quick, great throwing arm. Adam Jones has a chance to be one of the top outfielders for a long, long time. One away. And he'll go back to first. Now well, this is why he swing the outfielders around to right field. That's where his strength is. That's where he hits it. That's where he did hit it. It's an out. And we've got Wallace ready to go at the plate. On the way. Hit in the dirt. And he's got it. That's one out. Reynolds there, but it will not be in time to get the double play. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. And we've got Maxwell standing in to see what he can do at the plate. This oh. one's grounded foul, wide of first. Here's the pitch. Popped into foul territory, down the left side. And Hardy grabs that one, and the side's retired. No runs at a base hit, they leave one man on at first. And first chance next for the O's. And on the mound, we've got Lucas Harrell. He'll be Houston's starter. And as he gets going against these Baltimore hitters, what do you think we're going to see? Now, a good right-handed pitcher on the mound right here facing this lineup that can score some runs. It's going to be critical for him to keep the ball down to the zone and pitch to his capabilities. If he does that, he should have success. And with two strikes on him now, McLeod needs to protect the strike zone. Tough spot for the hitter right here, down 0-2. you got to foul off that tough pitch if you have to. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Well, textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at bat. This is the lineup we'll see for the Orioles. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, Mark Reynolds can hit a baseball as far as anyone in the game today, but he can also strike out more than anyone in the game today, and he's proven that over the last few years. Strikes out a lot. When contact's made, though, souvenir city. He delivers. Oh, First what? pitch, a slider for a called strike. Well, one thing we can say about the Orioles, they are consistent with their play at home. Unfortunately, they're consistently just under the 500 mark in Baltimore. That is a strike. Hardy now lean out over that plate to protect. Last season for the O's, that record was 39 and 42 at home. 37 wins in 2010, 39, 09, 37, and 08, Steve, on and on. Yeah, you go back to 2003. It's the last time they were even at 500, a 40 and 40 record that year. And listen, this is about personnel. They need to get some better pitching to shut down these big offenses in the American League East. Have a look at how the Astros line up on the field. 
I mean, take a look at this club defensively. The thing to remember is they're ranked in the bottom five for the total number of errors committed. That's a lot of mistakes and a lot of extra base runners and bases that they've given up. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Uh, not a lot of expectations, just a 130 lifetime average against the Astros. It just hasn't ever been able to get dialed in against this team throughout his career. And Chris Davis comes up without contact, strike three. That'll set him down. Nobody left on base, no runs or hits here in this half inning. Nobody's put one up yet here in Baltimore. Five, six, seven hitters coming up. And it's Lowry batting. He'll start us out here in the second. Swings and grounds this one foul wide at third. And here's the delivery. 0 1 pitch, a fastball. Swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Now that he's ahead in the count here, Gary, I'm looking for him to go to the curveball and try to punch him out. Swung on, that is hit, and that's through a base hit. Coming to bat for the Houston. Well, that pitch Astros. down and away is the 30, toughest in the game to hit. It's perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. And in the batter's box, it's Dominguez. Swings, hits this one. Very high, in the air, deep left center. Goodbye, it's gone. Home run. The Astros are on the board with a big fly. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Uh, Gary, credit this Astros offense. You get enough base runners on. Sooner or later, they're going to come around. Now they're out in front. See if they can't keep adding to the lead. He deals. Taps this one foul to the right. This is a really momentum feel home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole lot. Up the middle. And Snyder picks himself up a single. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0 1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. Sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0 2. He was going to wail. Oh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. Verdes in the batter's box. Swung on the fastball, couldn't get to it, 0-2. He likes to try to make contact 0-2 and not get struck out, so that means you can't throw anything too close to the plate right here. You're Big out. swing and a miss and a heater. Strike him out, one down. You got a second now to see the four-seam fastball in K-Cam. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the end. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. And it's the number nine spot. Teams relished when the Astros came into town last year. 30 games under 500 on the road. A big time yeah. struggle. Over to second for one. And two. A double play. Good start offensively. We get the first two runs of the game coming here in the second. Houston is out in front. Two to nothing. <laughs> 